Hi everyone and welcome to this video. Plina here. Today I'm going to be taking you through the solution to this Leaving Cert higher level question and this question is based mainly on integration and it has a simultaneous equation at the end of the question. So let's get started with question A. So we are told that g of x is equal to 2x squared plus 5x plus 6 where x is an element of the real number line and we're asked to find the integral of g of x. How are we going to do this? So we have our g of x, I'm just going to write that down first, and that is equal to 2x squared plus 5x plus 6. So to integrate this, what we're going to do is, my apologies, I'm just going to draw the integration sign next to this one. So we're going to increase the power of the x's and then divide the whole term by the new power. So it's going to be 2x to the power of 3 and then divided by 3. Here it's going to be 5x to the power of 2 and divided by 2. Here it's going to be 6x and then plus c. So the integral of g of x is equal to this. So for this question you are going to get 5 marks. Now an important thing to remember when you're integrating okay is to remember to put in the c, the constant term. If you forgot this for this question you'd be down to 4 marks. So now let's move on to question B. Question B tells us the diagram shows a function of the graph f of x is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c and you can see it's not telling us what the values for a, b and c are. It tells us three regions on the diagram are marked so you have k, l and n. Each of these regions are bounded by the x-axis, the graph of f of x and two vertical lines. So you have the x-axis here, the graph of fx which is this curve here and two vertical lines, okay? So it's either gonna be here on zero, here on y is two, y is four, or, oh my apologies, x is zero, x is two, x is four, or x is six. So on question B part one, we are told that the area of region K is 538 square units. And we're told to use integration of f of x to show that 4a plus 3b plus 3c is equal to 807. So if the area of the region k is 538 square units, that means that if you integrate f of x from 2 to 0, because that's where the region k is, it's going to be 538. So f of x is ax squared plus bx plus c, right? So I'm going to integrate from 2 to 0 ax squared plus bx plus c and I'm going to get 538. So first I'm going to integrate this from 2 to 0. ax squared is going to become ax to the power of 3 divided by 3. bx is going to become bx to the power of 2 divided by 2. Our c is going to become cx. Now I'm going to fill in x for 2, right, and x for 0, but when we fill in x for 0, we're just going to get 0, so we can more or less ignore that, right? So first of all, I'm going to fill in x for 2, so it's going to be a by 2 to the power of 3, which is 8, divided by 3, plus b by 2 to the power of 2, which is 4, divided by 2, plus c by 2. And what you usually would do here is you would get that and you would take away whatever this is filled in with this bottom term. But because it's zero, it's just going to be zero. So I'm going to just pop in there zero, okay, to save some space for myself. So now we have 8a divided by 2 plus 4b divided by 2 plus 2c. That is equal to 538. That's not exactly what they're asking us for though, okay? But we can manipulate it to make it exactly like this. Or sorry, my apologies, I just noticed, noticed a mistake there. That should be 8a divided by 3. So the first thing we're going to do is multiply across by 3. So multiply by 3 here. So we're going to have 8a divided by 3 multiplied by 3. There's going to be a 3 on top and the bottom, so it's just going to be 8a. 4b divided by 2, okay, and that's going to be multiplied by 3. So if you multiply 3 into the top here, you're going to have 12b divided by 2. So 12b divided by 2 is going to be 6b. Now when you multiply 3 by 2c, you're just going to get 6c, okay? And when you multiply 538 by 3, you get 1640. This still isn't quite what we're looking for, but we can see that we're getting closer. So now what we're going to do is we're going to divide by 2, and we're going to get 4a plus 3b plus 3c is equal to 1614 divided by 2. 807. This is exactly what we're looking for. So that is our final answer and we have proved that when the area of k is 438 square units, we've proved that this equation here is true, okay, using integration. So for this question you are going to get 10 marks. 
So now let's move on to question B, part two. So this is just a simultaneous equation question, okay? So these can be quite tedious, okay? So you just have to really watch your steps because they're quite manageable to get marks in. The concept is easily grasped by most students, but the pitfall is just making silly mistakes throughout it, like signs, if you accidentally didn't change it from a positive to a negative or simple multiplication, because there's so much small little sums in it, it's just easy to make little mistakes. So just be really careful when you're going through questions like these. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to label all of my equations. Okay, so this is going to be number one, two, three. We're also going to find four and five. So we're going to find four by equating one and two. So one is 4a plus 3b plus 3c is equal to 807. Now we want to get rid of a term between one and two, right? I'm going to get rid of the c term because it's the easiest here, isn't it? So I'm just going to change the sign of two. So I'm going to say two and just put that in there, right? So it's going to be minus 28a minus 9b minus 3c is equal to minus 879. So we can get rid of these. 4a minus 28a, that'll give us minus 24a. 3b minus 9b is going to be minus 6b, and that is equal to 807 minus 879, and that is minus 72. So this is equation number four, and I'm going to write it up here as well. So minus 24a, I'm actually going to change the sign right across just to make it easier for me. So I'm going to change all the signs here, plus, 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 and you can do that if you do it right across the equation. So it's 24a plus 6b plus 72. Now to find the fifth equation, we're going to equate two and three, okay? And we're going to get rid of the c's as well. So two, 28a plus 9b plus 3c is equal to 879. Now three, what we're going to do again, we're going to change the sign. I'm just going to put a minus in here to remind myself. So it's going to be minus 76a minus 15b minus 3c is equal to minus 663. So we can get rid of our three c's here. 28 minus 76, and that'll give us an answer of minus 48a. Nine minus 15 is minus six. So minus six b is equal to 879 minus 663 and that is 216. So that is our fifth equation. Now I'm gonna write it up here. So minus 48a minus 6b is equal to 216. Now let's find the value of a by equating equations four and five. So four, five, 24a plus 6b is equal to 72, minus 48a minus 6b is equal to 216. So we can get rid of 6b minus 6b, that's zero. 24a minus 48a is going to be minus 24a, and that is equal to 72 plus 216, and that is 288. So now let's divide 288 by minus 24 to find the value of a, and that is minus 12. So a is equal to minus so now let's fill this in to find a value for b. Okay, so I'm gonna take equation four. So I'm gonna go 24 by minus 12 plus 6b is equal to 72. 24 by minus 12 is minus 288 plus 6b is equal to 72. So 6b is equal to 72 plus 288 and we bring that over there. So 72 plus 288 that is 360, divide that by 6, and you get 60. So b is equal to 60. And then c, we're going to use one of the original equations. So we're going to use 4a plus 3b plus 3c. I'm just going to write it down here. 4a plus 3b plus 3c is equal to 807. And I'm going to fill in a and b. So 4 times minus 12 plus 3 times 60 plus 3c is equal to 807. So 3c is equal to 807 minus 4 multiplied by minus 12, minus 3 multiplied by 60. I'm just moving those over to the other side, these over to the other side here. And that gives us an answer of 675. Divide this by 3 to find the value of C, and that is 225. Okay, so C is 225, B is 60, and A is minus 12. And these are the answers to this question, and you're going to get 15 marks for finding the correct answers. Okay guys, so that is all for this video. I hope that you found this video helpful and that it might have cleared up any problems that you may have had going through the question yourself. I'll see you all in the next video.